Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining. Um, so what you see here is a giant pile of pepper leaves, pepper plant leaves. So that's where we're starting today, unfortunately. We had to, uh, so we've been battling some aphids the past few days. They've gotten really bad and uh, attacking the um, mostly the bell pepper plants. So I was spraying some a mixture of Dawn dish soap and water from a spray bottle trying to get them yesterday and um, I just think I did it too many times and so th it was mostly this plant here and you can see it's just almost bare now probably about 60% of the leaves dropped I mean this bucket was full and there were leaves everywhere along the ground here so basically you, know, you spray the aphid and it does kill them on contact but the problem is um, they would I would get the ones that were out and then I'd come back an hour later there'd be more out and so after it dries which only takes a couple minutes it's basically doesn't do anything to them so I'd reapply it and I did that probably too many times and I think the plant didn't like that so uh, it was mostly this one this one dropped some as well but it, I didn't hit it as much and um, you can see Loud planes fly over that I get to hear every day, but they are there's a bunch of them on here. So yeah, that's like I said, that's what I'm battling now. So I don't know what's going to happen with this one. Um, it's got several big bell puppers on there, and I don't know if it's going to have enough energy to do much over the next couple weeks before it gets too cold. So I don't know. I mean, there's it does still have leaves on there, so it can potentially do something but like I said that's a it needs a lot of energy to make you know peppers this big so you know we'll just have to see I've never had that happen before so those are just a wait and see kind of thing so uh, at any rate the uh, my jalapenos are still doing good and producing a ton I need to pick some of the red ones I've just got way too many um, uh, that I, I really just don't have anything to do with them. I've jarred up probably about 12 jars, uh, those ball canning jars, full of jalapenos, pickled jalapenos, and I just, I, I really do not need any more. Um, uh, so checking out some of this bok choy, it is just, they're doing pretty good. I actually transplanted one of these, the, the weakest looking bucket with like the most scraggly looking bok choy, I actually transplanted those out. So I got this giant pot here, huge pot, and um, transplanted out of this bucket, which had about seven of them in it. And because I mean, like this is a grouping of two. That's uh, that's a grouping of two. So basically, I split out. I left those that bundle in there, and uh, split these out into this giant bucket. That was a couple days ago. So we'll see how those do. I'm sure they'll be happy and healthy pretty soon. Uh, the radishes have been getting thinned out because I've eaten them, most of them, and there's only a few left. This one here is going to seed, which is uh, good. If I can get some extra seeds. The other ones, um, so when I was growing this, them this close, I mean, a bunch of these got suffocated, uh, not enough sun and whatnot, so they're just kind of scraggly. I don't know if these are going to really, the ones that are left are going to do much besides go to seed, so we'll see if I get any more from that. Um, the spinach I planted in this bucket still is not coming up. I think, I'm pretty sure these are weeds. So I may just transplant something into that. I've got another new bucket here that I can transplant uh, stuff into. And then another one of the giant buckets. So most likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant some of these Komatsunas over to the giant bucket. Because they do not like these small buckets. And I mean these aren't tiny buckets by any means. But they're too small for a Komatsuna. I can, I've learned that now um, so the newer leaves grow really well and they look great but as they get older they immediately start turning yellow and no matter what they've got plenty of nutrients I keep feeding them nutrients and it's 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 just I think it's a matter of they're really root bound and just fighting for fighting to uh, to get the nutrients and they may not, may not be able to get get them fast enough I don't know but they don't like the small buckets, I'll tell you that, because these Kamasuna here, 
which I transplanted out a week and a half ago, have exploded. These these were the runts of the group because they were in a tiny, tiny, tiny bucket like this one. And I put those in here. They were very scrawny and terrible looking. And now these have exploded to the point. You see how big that leaf is? These have exploded and gotten bigger than any of those other ones over there in just a matter of a week, week and a half at the most. So I can that's how I can tell for sure that these pots are just too small for especially growing you know three or four in each one each pot so like I said I think one of these pots I'm going to take and put in the giant bucket at least and then I might take another one of those pots and put it in this other empty bucket here and then that's probably I don't think I'm buying any more buckets this year I've got just too much as it is so but I think that'll get me at least a few more really good Komatsunas going um, yeah so, and then, you know, as you can see, the mustards are, are doing okay. I mean, again, this is probably just way too much for these small pots, but I mean, that's a pretty big leaf there. Some of these I'm going to start harvesting and, and eating very soon. And then you got the lettuce here, which is just, they have really gone crazy here lately. I mean, this, the bucket is just slammed full, and they're just going crazy. So, I like that. Those are... That's pretty awesome. Um, you check out the raised bed over here. And we've got the bok choy, just loving life. I'm probably going to start harvesting some of these lower leaves very soon. I mean, these leaves are big. And they're going to get bigger. But some of the lower leaves can probably be harvested now and eaten because I'm ready to, to try some of those. They look really good. And then I actually already tried an arugula because one of the stems had broken, I guess, for whatever reason, the birds just seemed to, I think probably because they're getting bugs, but the birds just seem to like this hanging out in this bed. They'll sit on these hoops every morning and, and late evening and just chill. And I've seen them dive in here and get, I guess, bugs or whatever. And uh, so I guess because of that, one of the, uh, I found a broken uh, arugula stem a couple days ago and I, ended up trying that and it was pretty good so can't wait for those to get a little bigger the spinach taking its sweet time it is a uh, very slow growing and then my carrots which are of course slow growing as well um, and then I think the last update I've got uh, on the screen now you should see what this area used to look like before I put in a lot of work uh, several days in a row last week and weekend and redid this whole area making a really nice garden bed and so that's gonna be for the spring I'm gonna plant a bunch of probably perennials and annuals here and then this section will be redone here in the next month or so as well um, so and then this will be a whole like step garden wrapped around this corner of the, the house so that is the plan over the next month month or so depending on when I get time to do it so that's about it I uh, don't think I've got any other updates going on right now this the, the kale is uh, looking good still too I didn't mention it before so it's uh, also a little bit of a slow grower but it's looking good so I um, can't wait to try that one as well Pro that's probably gonna be a few months or at least a month away before I even try it so we'll see anyways uh, thanks for uh, hanging out today and can't wait to uh, send you guys another update soon catch you next time